Building new or better batteries means constantly pushing boundaries. Devices powered by rechargeable lithium ion batteries are everywhere. You might say we have a love-hate relationship. At a society level, I think people really think that a battery is a done deal. Like, it's old subject. With support from the National Science Foundation, material scientist Shirley Ming and her team at the University of California, San Diego, are building a new generation of batteries made with sodium rather than lithium. She says, don't be fooled into thinking we have to settle for what we've got now. The energy density of the batteries today can still be doubled or tripled. Ming is a scientist on a mission to make batteries better. Here in the prototyping lab, she and her colleagues are currently testing new designs for lithium batteries. But in the next few years, they plan to test new sodium batteries here too. We want to use sodium instead of lithium because it has different properties and also sodium is much more abundant. More abundant means much cheaper. The lithium and cobalt used in your typical rechargeable batteries mostly come from far-flung places like Bolivia, Chile and Congo. The sodium batteries of the future will be made of inexpensive, widely available materials. Right now it's just in the lab and we're working on figuring out how to make it hold more energy and last longer so that it can be used in your phone, in your car, or even to store energy for solar for wind. That's an area where sodium batteries could really pay off. Today, it's not really cost effective for utilities to use batteries. They cost hundreds of dollars per kilowatt hour to operate. But much cheaper sodium ion batteries could bring that expense way down. Uh, then, you know, it will make economic sense for each household, for example, to have a storage unit in their house. They have solar on the roof, they can store the electrons during the day and use them at night. They say this breakthrough technology is in reach with further research and development. Right now, if you want to go to any material suppliers to buy sodium iron positive electrode materials, you can't get any because there's nobody making them. And I think this is where we hope our research will contribute to the field. Designing new sodium-based materials to make batteries more powerful, less expensive, and more sustainable. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.